Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we'll do the part six. In that we are going to see innings 11.5. So here you have to see that state whether following statements are true or false. So here they have said the diagonals of a rhombus are equal. So this is false. The diagonals of a rectangle bisect each other at right angles. So this is false because the bi diagonals of the rectangle bisect, but they do not meet at right angle. So this is false. If all the angles of a pentagram are equal, it is a rectangle. This is true. If both pairs of the opposite sides of a quadrilateral are parallel, it is a parallelogram. That also is true. Now they, here they said a parallelogram is a rhombus. It is false because if all the sides are equal in length, it is a rhombus. So this is false. Find the length of a side of a rhombus whose perimeter is 60 centimeters. So perimeter of a rhombus, you know, perimeter means sum of all sides. And now this is rhombus means it has four sides, so four into S. So perimeter is 60, so this will be four into S. That will be 60, this will go here, that is going to get divided. That will be S, so this is going to be 15. So we can say length of a side of rhombus is 15 centimeter. If one angle of a rhombus is 56 degree, find the measure of the other angles. So one angle is 56 degree. So angle opposite to 56 degrees also 56. Now see here. Now this is a rhombus. Now suppose this is 56. So opposite to this also should be 56. But now adjacent means now this is at the side. So this is 56. So adjacent angles means it should be the sum should be 180 degrees. So these two when they are at the side that will be adjacent one so now we will we know this is 56 so this also should be 56 so now we'll find, try to find out this angle so this angle means you will do 180 minus 56 that is going to be 124 why that is the adjacent angles are supplementary supplementary means that will be 180 so we can see the other angles of the rhombus are one is already given 124 56 and 124 so this 56 56 124 124 if the length of one side of a rhombus is equal to the length of one diagonal, find the angles of the rhombus. So this is a rhombus, this is roughly I have drawn. So now we can say because this is a length of one diagonal means this is the diagonal of it. So we can say we can consider this as ABCD, that is a rhombus. And this AC, this one is the diagonal of it. So what we can see they said length is of side is equal to one diagonal. So AB, this is the side and this is the diagonal of it. So AB should be equal to AC. So in the rhombus, what we can say that, that is all sides are equal. So what we can see, AB will be equal to, BC will be equal to, DC, uh, CD or DC, we can say, will be uh, this equal to AD. So from figure, what we can say, this triangle, ABC, and this one, ACD, they are equilateral. So now what we can say, equilateral means this angle should be 60 degrees. So now let us consider this triangle first. So now what we can say, you can consider this as angle 1, angle 2, and so on angle 3 so what we can say angle 1 is equal to angle 2 is equal to angle 3 is equal to angle 4 because all the angles are same in equilateral that is 60 degree so now we if you are considering this angle 1 so what we can see this in this triangle this part is 60 degree but then this whatever is at the side so that's that also should be 60 so when you add this angle 1 means it should be for both of them so this 60 plus 60. So what we can say angle A is one angle 1 plus angle 2. That will be 60 plus 60. So angle A is going to be 120. So now what we can see this angle. This is 120. So this C also should be 120. Because again this is a diagonal means. This is a different angle and this is a different angle. But now what you can see for this one. And this one B and D. There is no diagonal over here. Means we are going to consider this as 60 and 60. So we can say here. Angle A is equal to angle C is equal to 120 and angle D is equal to angle B is equal to 60 degrees. So the angles of the rhombus are 120, 60, 120 and 60 degree. Two adjacent angles of a rhombus are in the ratio 1 is to 5. Find the angles of the rhombus. So now this 1 is to 5 means if you are considered this as x into 1 means x, 5 into x means 5x. So let two adjacent angles be x and 5x. So now adjacent means now we are going to add it. Now this is a rhombus. So suppose this is x and this is 5x. So when you add this both, you know they are supplementary adjacent angles. So x plus 5x that is 180. 
So this x means this one, this will be 6x is 180. So x is going to be 180 divided by 6. So x will be 30 degrees. So 5x is equal to 5 into 30. That is going to be 150 degrees. So the angles of the rhombus are 30, 150, 30, 150. The lines of the diagonals of a rhombus are 16 centimeter and 12 centimeter. Find the side of the rhombus. So now this is the rhombus. These are the diagonals of it. So one diagonal is 16 and the other diagonal is 12. So suppose we consider this diagonal. This is 16 centimeter and this diagonal is 12 centimeter. This whole line, this one, we have to consider the diagonal. So what we can see from this one, this whole thing is this is 16. So the half of it is, that is going to be because this one, half of this is going to be that is we are going to divide it by 2. So this is going to be 8 and again this is going to be 8. Same for here, this whole thing is 12. So this is going to be 6 and this is going to be 6. So that is what is written here. Half the diagonals are here. So the side of the rhombus, what did you say? The lengths of the diagonals are this section. You have to find the side of the rhombus. Now see here. So now this is the, now suppose we take this part. So what we can see here that this is the, this side of the rhombus is going to be the hypotenuse. So now what we can write here, you know the Pythagoras theorem. So hypotenuse square, that is side square plus the base square. So now hypotenuse square will be when, when we got this as this, we got this as 8 and this as 6. So what we can say, this we can consider the hypotenuse square. That will be 8 square plus 6 square. So now what will you write here? Hypotenuse square will be 64 plus 36. So hypotenuse square will be this when you add together that is going to be 100. So when you square this both sides, squaring both sides, what we can do? This when you square this part is gone. So hypotenuse will be root of 100 means that is going to be 10. So we can say length of each side of the rhombus is 10 centimeter. In figure if ABCD is a square and ABRS is a rhombus. So this ABCD, this is a square and this ABRS, this is a rhombus. Angle SAD is 120. This SAD means when you write SAD means the middle one. A, this part is 120. So we have to find ASD and SDC. So now let us say this one ASD. So this one, when we say this one, this is A, this is S and D. When we write this one, so middle one, this one, this angle. So in this one, what we can say this angle AS is equal to angle AD. So because since ABCD is a square and AB is a, is a rhombus with side AB. So triangle ASD is an isosceles triangle. This is an isosceles triangle. So now what we can see? This is 120. So these are the base of it. So the base angles in isosceles triangle are equal. So we can say angle ASD is equal to angle ADS. ASD, this one is equal to ADS, this one. So this is the step. So now what we can see now, because we said, and now we are going to consider this one, this triangle from that one, this is A as D. So now we know this one. So what we can see now, this angle A as D plus angle ADS plus angle SED is equal to 180 because the angle sum property. So this is the step. So now what we can say, because they have said A as D and this is A as D is equal to ADS. So in place of this ADS, we can write A as D. And this SAD we know that is 120, that is 180. So now we are going to add this one because both are ASD. So that will be twice of angle ASD plus 120 is 180. So twice of angle ASD, that will be 180. This will go here, that is going to be minus 120. So twice ASD will be 60 degree. So angle ASD will be 60 divided by 2, that will be 30 degree. So we can write angle ADS because why we are going to write this is 30. So ADS also should be 30 degree. Because here already we have seen ASD is equal to ADS. And also I have written here. This says that two dots up and this. That since angle ASD is equal to angle ADS. And base angles of the isosceles triangle are equal. Now we have to find out SDC. To SDC means this one. SDC. Now look at here. We already got this angle. Now SDC means now this is a square. From this square. Now this part we already got this as 30 degree. And you know this whole angle. This one is will be 90. So this SDC means only this part that is going to be 60 degree because 30 is already here. 30 plus 60 will be 90. So this part that is SDC, S, D, and C. 
that is going to be 60. So that is what is written here. That will be angle ADC minus ADS. So 90 minus 30, that will be 60 degree. If the angle shown this in figure A and B are squares, find X. Now this A and B, these figures are given. We'll take first figure A. So now what you can see, this is a diagonal. So now we can say diagonal of a square bisect the angle. So angle CBD. Now we will take this one. CBD. So this angle plus angle ABD plus angle A, B and D. This angle. So what we can say this is because this is a square means this whole part this is 90. So this part will be 45 and this part is going to be 45. So we can say that is 45 degree. Then this are written here this O for the convenience. Now to see here that O was not given in the figure. So now what we can see here this DOC and this you can see MOB. So now whenever you have crossed this angle and these are the whenever this and this like this you have in a curve this one this cross type means they are the vertically opposite angle. So this is 80 means this part also should be 80 degree. So MOB also is 80 because they are the vertically opposite angles. Now we are going to take this this triangle MOB. So in that what we can see that is OBM. Now see here I will draw this one. This is MOB. So that we can see here this we got as 80 degree. So now what we can see here OBM means this this angle plus angle MOB this one huh? and the this is given here X. So uh, this X this X is given here in the figure. So this is the exterior angle property. So you know this when you add this one the sum of these two angles will be that is going to be X that is exterior angle property. So now this is the important step what you have to remember. So OBM is 45 degree and MOB is 80. So that is X. So this X is going to be 125 degree. Now we will see for the next one for the B1 for this figure. So this is the diagonal of it. AC is the diagonal of it. So here we can see APM plus CPM that is 180 degree. Now see here. This also I can paste it here. So now what we can see here that angle APM plus CPM that is 180 degree. Now see here A, P, this is also written for the convenience APM, this APM, this angle plus CPM, this one, this angle. So now this, can you see this line whenever we have like this means that is going to be the linear pair. So you have 120 over here, this will be 60 degrees. So you know that APM plus CPM that is 180 that will be linear pair. So APM we already know that is 120. So 120 plus angle CPM that is 180. So CPM is going to be 180 minus this 120. So CPM will be there will be 60 degree. So now what will you see in this triangle CPM? This one. So now what we can see here. Now we got this part. I will draw it separately here. This is C. This is P and this is M. So we got this one as 60 degree. Here we all have X. So now what we can see here, this is a, as it is a square, that means this is 90 degree. So only this part, this part should be 45 degree. This part should be 45 degree. So that is what I written, 45 plus we got this as 60. And this X, this is a triangle, means the sum, I will use this angle sum property, that is 180. So now when you add this one, that will be 105 plus X will be 180. So X will be 180 minus 105, the X is going to be 75 degree. Explain why given figure is a trapezium, name the parallel sides. Now this is a figure given, this is a trapezium. So now what you can see angle C plus angle B, you can see these are the adjacent angle. And this, when you add this, that is 180. Sum of adjacent angles is 180. So from this one, we can say that C CD and AB are, these are the parallel ones. So ABCD is a trapezium. So now the parallel side, same thing. We can write this AB is parallel to CD we can write or DC both is the same. So by this one we are completed today's work. Do like and subscribe to my channel so you get the notification of other parts. Thank you.